Hi everyone, it's Lydia here. Welcome back to another pickup video today. So today I'm going to be doing my September and October pickups. I'm really, really excited to show you all what I've got these two months because I've got a nice um, collection of games, a nice variety. So I've got some retro games and I've got some indie games and I've got some modern games. So I'm really looking forward to showing you what I've got. And some of them I've played already, so I can give you a little bit of a review of what they're like to play. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you, so I'll go ahead and show you what I've got. So let's start off with the more modern games. So I have got Wally for the PS3. Now I adore this film so much. I think it's such a lovely little film that's got a really nice message to it. I really like the fact that it's a nice slow paced film as well. Um, the game kind of follows the story of the film, but you play sort of some mini puzzles along with it. You play from the perspective of Wally and Eve. So you get to play on Earth and you get to play on the spaceship as well. I haven't actually finished this game yet. Um, it's got some really frustrating parts in it, I think because it is a PS3 game and also because it's not a particularly well developed game, I don't think. So there's some really awkward controls in it for a PS3 game, but it's not bad. If you like the film, then it's probably worth a play. As you see, it's in alright condition. You know, the standard. <laughs> it didn't cost me a lot of money, so, you know, it wasn't a bad purchase at all. And yeah, worth it if you like the film and yeah, you want to play the game. So yeah, that's the first one. Next up, let's have a look at the PS4 games that I got. So first I got Monkey King Hero is Back. This is a Chinese developed game. It looks quite interesting. It follows the legend of the Monkey King, which is a really, really interesting Chinese, is it a myth or a legend? I'm not sure which it comes under, but it's a really, really interesting um, part of culture in the Chinese culture. So yeah, I'm quite excited to play this game. It's got dragons and stuff. The art style looks pretty cool. From reviews, it seems like it's very mediocre, but you know, it was only £3.50 because the case is slightly damaged. So it wasn't bad at all. And yeah, I'm excited to play it and see what it's like. Next up, I got this very, very cute looking game called Kiwi. Now this is basically a couch co-op or you can play online as a co-op game. So it's basically puzzles that you have to solve together as a team. It's kind of a similar concept to games like Overcooked. It does get more and more stressful as the game goes on. I've currently played one season of it. So yeah, I'm enjoying it so far, even though it does get a little bit hectic. So make sure you're in a good place with whoever you're playing it with because things will get hairy. The next game that I got is American Fugitive. Now this one looks really, really interesting. It kind of looks like a modern GTA with the top down perspective. Um, it looks really cool. I think I've seen some gameplay of it a little while back. So I thought it'd be a good one to play. It's not a very long game, but it does look really, really cool. So yeah, looking forward to that one. So next up we have some PS2 games. So I don't know if PS2 technically counts as retro yet. It's kind of a bit of a gray area, but anyway, so first up we have Dog's Life. This one looks really, really fun to play. Um, so yeah, there's not enough pet simulators in my opinions or games about dogs that aren't just made for kids or you know aren't just pet simulators. So it looks really funny. Apparently it's got some really weird, funky humor in it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this one and seeing what it's all about. The disc is very scratched, so I do need to play it and check that it works, but fingers crossed it does. Then next up we have Time Splitters. So I actually have the second game already and haven't played it. So I was waiting to get the first one before I went ahead and played it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this. I've heard really great things. This one has got a manual with it as well, which I feel like you don't see too often with the PS2 secondhand games. The manual looks like it's fine and in pretty good condition. So yeah, I am really excited to finally play the Time Splitter games and see what all the hype is about. Then last but not least for the PS2 games, I also got Virtua Fighter 4. I'm still in a bit of a mood for uh, fighting games. So yeah, and I really, really do enjoy the Virtua Fighter games too. So yeah, I'm excited to play this one and see what it's like, see how it compares to the other games that I have played. So yeah, that's that. There's no manual inside this one. It's just the actual game. It is very scratched again, so hopefully it's fine, but yeah, it should all be good. 
So next up I have a Dreamcast game. Now this one is a bit more special than usual. It's a modern indie game on the Dreamcast. Now this game's been out for a couple of years. It's by the team at Cena, and then Wave Studio have put it onto the Dreamcast. And it works really, really, really well. I really like this game. It's a really nice little platformer. Um, and it also has a combat style that's very similar to beat em up games. And the art style is really awesome as well. It works excellently on the Dreamcast. And if we have a look inside, you can see it all fits really nicely. They've done a really good job on the packaging. And it's got a little leaflet. You can see in full colour. Yeah, it's really great. So yeah, I really do recommend playing this game. It's not just on the Dreamcast. You can get it on PC and I think um, you can get it on the PS4 and the Switch as well, I believe. So yeah, definitely check this game out if it's your thing. Last but not least, I will get on to the games that I picked up that are for the Mega Drive. Now, I didn't actually realise just how many Mega Drive games I had bought the last two months. Seems like I went on a bit of a splurge. So, I'll show you the little pile that I got. Ta-da! <laughs> so yeah, I got quite a lot this month. So yeah, I'm excited to show you what I've got. There's a few in here that I've really been looking for for a while. So first up, I'll show you Galaxy Force. Now the cover on this is really awesome. I love it. Look at all these colours and the artwork is amazing. So this is basically a kind of, I don't know how you describe it, front facing side scrolling shooter. Um, obviously space. <laughs> um, but it looks really really cool. It kind of reminds me of a lot of classic arcade games. And you can have a look inside the case. As you can see there is no manual but the cartridge looks pretty good. The case itself looks fine. It's obviously missing the tag, but otherwise it's in pretty good condition. Um, obviously I can either stick on a tag or I can buy a new case for it, but otherwise pretty happy with it. And yeah, like I said, love the artwork and looking forward to playing it. Next up, I've got Sonic 3D. I've kind of been on the fence about this one, about whether to get it or not. I did hear it's better for the Saturn. I don't know how true that is, but probably is. But I thought it's worth a go, it's quite a different Sonic game and look how good condition it's in. So I'll show you inside, as you can see it has got the manual, nothing too interesting in the manual itself though. And yeah, the case is in really really good condition, it looks pretty much mint. So yeah, I'm going to be interested to play this one and give my thoughts on it. Next up, Sonic Spinball. Now again, it's another one of these that I've not played before. It does look really cool. I've heard good things about this one. Apparently it's one of the better ones on the Mega Drive, better than 3D anyway. Um, so you open it up and have a look inside. As you can see, it's really good condition again. The manual is there and yeah, again, nothing interesting in the manual. But yeah, as you can see, there's Pretty much no scuffs at all. The case is really good and it looks pretty much mint. And I do really like the artwork on this. I think it's a really pretty looking artwork too. And I find a lot of the Sonic games, they're kind of a bit more minimal for the Mega Drive, but this one I think looks really cool. So yeah, be fun one to play. Next up, I've got Micro Machines. Now, I recently got Micro Machines for the PS1, so I'm definitely in a mood to play Micro Machines. I really do enjoy these games. I like the top-down perspective, and I think they're just really fun, quirky games, and they're really good fun to play with friends as well. So yeah, you can have a look inside. As you can see, this is another one that's in really great condition, and inside it looks pretty mint too. The instruction manual is pretty flat. It doesn't look damaged at all. As you can see, it's got that really different looking cartridge that the Codemaster games have. Yeah, it looks really great and I'm really, really happy with this one. Next up, we have another Sonic game and it's Sonic Original. Now I've got Sonic 2, but it's cartridge only and I've kind of been looking out for the first Sonic. Obviously it's a pretty common game. It's not an expensive one, but I finally found one that was in pretty good condition. So yeah, we can have a look and you can see it's got a little bit of a breakage on the case at the top. Inside it's got the manual as well. The manual is missing a piece from the back, but it looks okay other than that. 
and inside looks fine too as well as the cartridge and as you can see it's got a little bit of a tear on the side but it has got the top tag to it as well so yeah happy with this one next up we have got McDonald's Global Gladiators. <laughs> I heard about this one a little while ago and someone was actually saying it's a really fun game and I was looking up some gameplay and it does look pretty fun and quirky. It's got some cool music in it as well. It's basically a platformer, but it does look really cool. So yeah, I'll be really interested to play this. I don't know how much of it is McDonald's themed. It's a bit confusing, but yeah, we'll have a look inside anyway. And as you can see, it's in really good condition. It's got the manual there, and obviously it's got the cartridge. The cartridge looks a bit text heavy, it's a bit annoying, but I'm guessing that's because of all the uh, copywriting that it's got inside it. As you can see, there's absolutely no scuffs to it whatsoever. It's still got the original stickers on it, and it's obviously got the tag there. So yeah, really pleased with this one, and it looks like a really fun game. Last but not least on the game pickups, we have World of Illusion Mickey Mouse. Now I really, really enjoyed Castle of Illusion. I don't know how this one compares to Castle of Illusion, if it's very similar or anything, but it does look really fun and I really love the art style that's in these games. Sometimes they can be a little bit clunky and slow. I wasn't a big fan of Fantasia for that reason, but I do really enjoy Castle of Illusion and I hope this one kind of follows in a similar vein to Castle of Illusion. Yeah, it's a really beautiful artwork. The level designs are really beautiful normally in these games too. And we have a look inside. As you can see, really good condition, just a little bit of dust. It has got the manual, which is great. Oh, and as you can see, it's got a little Sonic up front there. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, absolutely mint. There's absolutely no scuffs to it whatsoever. Still got the original sticker on it and it's got the tag. So yeah, very, very happy with this one. So we're gonna have a bit of a bonus round. These aren't games, but they are collectibles. So first up, I got another Tubbs. Yes, I know, I know. But this one is Jean-Luc Picard from Star Trek Generations. So yeah, you can see I got him for five pounds, so it was really cheap, he was in the sale bucket. Yeah, I think he's really cool. His eyes are a bit weird, but other than that, I think he's really cool, so let's open him up. I really love the packaging in tubs, they're really cool. And there you go, let's take him out. And there he is, Jean-Luc Picard. And he is definitely one of my favourite captains, actually. I really like how grumpy he is and his story arc, I think is really cool. Next Generations is definitely one of my favourite Star Trek series. So yeah, and then he's got his little tub that he can sit in and be displayed in. So yeah, he's really awesome. So the other one that I got was some little flocked figures from Animal Crossing. Now I actually pre-ordered them and I've completely forgotten about them and I had thought that I had cancelled it, but it turns out I hadn't. So they were a bit of a surprise, so Merry Christmas to me, I guess. <laughs> but I've already unboxed them and everything, so I will just show you what they look like on the shelf. They're really, really cool looking figures. I really like them. I think they're really sweet. They're quite small, but they're really well detailed and they're all flocked, which adds like a nice dimension to the figures. So that concludes all my pickups from September and October. So that's it for the video today, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, I am really, really happy with the games that I've picked up. It's really nice as well being able to look back on the purchases that I made and how much my collection is growing each month. So I do really enjoy showing you all what I've got. And I hope you enjoyed seeing all those games and sort of some of the reviews that I was able to give of them as well. So yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching as always. You can find me on social media such as Instagram and Twitter. And I really do hope to see you all again for another video sometime soon. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you again later. Bye.